Hi, welcome back to this week's vlog. Uh, I'm Jared Littner, Elite Series Pro, and today we're going to be talking about the 6th and 7th stop on the Elite Series Bassmaster Circuit for this past season. Uh, the 6th stop was at Smith Mountain Lake in Virginia, and it was won by Casey Ashley throwing this little jewel Aikens jig. Uh, he was looking for long tapering points with scattered rock piles throughout him and just dragging it real slow, and uh, which enabled him to get some key bites throughout the day. Um, also, what he was doing is he was throwing a Berkeley 7-inch shaky worm on, uh, on light line, uh, which enabled him to get more bites, but not the quality on the jig. Uh, but it was key to him to fill in a limit every day and to bring home the win. At that lake, um, I finished in 34th place, and basically I was drop shotting um, a 6-inch Berkeley hand pour finesse worm. Uh, anything from the warm mouth color to margarita mutilator. Um, in doing so, I was also looking for bedding bass. Uh, I was covering a lot of water, making long casts way out ahead of the boat, and uh, I got some bites that, that helped me throughout the day. When I did come across a fish that was on a bed, I picked up the Robo Worm Sour Puss bait. Um, the actual name of it, this color is called Bed Bait. Uh, it, this bait is great in that it allows you to put a 5 out EWG hook in there. has lots of intense action with these wings right here, and it's ribbed, and the fish get really frustrated with it in a quick amount of time. And those were basically the two patterns that I ran throughout that tournament. Then switching over to Grand Lake in Oklahoma, which Kevin Van Dam pretty much dominated. And he did it by throwing the Strike King Sexy Shad Series 4 through 6. And what he was doing was locating schools of fish that were on the main lake uh, post spawn, and the fish were really grouped up, and he was basically throwing the uh, series four when the fish were up shallow feeding and the, the series six when they were down a little bit deeper uh, and he just used a variety of different retrieves to trigger the fish into biting. Um, whereas I was again up in the willow trees flipping a black and blue jig, probably my favorite technique. This is a half ounce True Tungsten Jason Quinn jig, black and blue color. Uh, I had a black and blue, blue flake chigger craw rigged on it. Um, 25 pound test fluorocarbon on a 765 Powell flipping stick with a Revo Premier reel. And basically what I was doing was looking for the, the little channels that went in between all the, the rows of willow trees. And anywhere where it was deeper, that's where I seemed to get my key bites. And uh, basically that's what I did for three days. I had a lot of fun, caught a lot of fish on these baits. And uh, I hope to get back to that lake soon because it's nothing but great fishing.